we go, losing self-control. Hello, this is Motionology. Welcome back. We still have some notes that we need to talk about in the general list, and these are the the remark. Now, the remark is very simple, very straightforward. I'm not gonna make a separate video for this one because the thing that you can use it for is just to add some comments to your Espresso setups. So people who will take over and work on the same project after you knows exactly what's going on with the Espresso editor. So that's the only thing that you can use this remark for because you don't have any inputs or outputs. You only have this text field which you can add any comments. Any comments to and once you click outside, the, your comment's gonna be available here in the uh, node itself. And you can then uh, rename it uh, comments. All right, and uh, here, you, here you go. Uh, this is the only thing that you can use this operator for. So let's delete this one and let's take a look at the next one, the result operator and this result operator we approximately used it in every other video in this uh, series of tutorials so i'm not going to talk about it because i think you get the idea what the result operator actually does so we do have the sound operator now and uh this is actually you know a little bit interesting and of course and obviously when you work with the sound operator you do have these options and the first one is the file name which you can load any sound that you want to work with and uh, let me load this you know just laugh mail sound which I found very funny to use so let's load that and uh, when I hit play in my timeline I just I don't have any sound playing I just have these two spheres colliding with each other and uh, I will use these uh, objects and this collision to trigger this sound, actually. And uh, let's uh, let's hit that. So play, it's a, it's a Boolean value. Uh, when I enable this on the input of this operator, I can, I'm gonna have it here in the attributes manager. So when I click on, <laughs> I'm gonna hear that sound. I do have these two spheres in my viewport and they move and collide with each other and they get separated again and then collide again. And uh, I want these two objects to interact with this sound. I want them to trigger this sound when they actually collide with each other, let's say that. So let me grab these two objects and let me grab a uh, operator that we actually talked about before. and. Uh, that is the collision operator. Let's connect these object A to object 1, object B to object 2, and then let's just go back to the beginning of the timeline and then let's uh, connect this collision to this play and uh, let's play the timeline and see what will happen. <laughs> It's working. <laughs> it's working just fine. And when they get separated, the sound stops playing. And when they collide with each other, the sound uh, triggered on and we actually can hear it. Other things that we need to uh, say about the sound operator that it has some outputs. And uh, these are the outputs for this sound operator. And all of these things will just read out some information about the actual sound file. Uh, the left and the right will actually gives you some information about uh, or some values about the uh, actual left and right channels of the actual sound. The length will output the length of the sound file. The samples will output the number of samples in the sound file. It's just some information that you will not benefit so much from. The only thing that I can use this sound operator with is to just load some sound into my background and then match it up with some animation that I'm working with, syncing the animation or the movement of the objects to the actual sound. This sound actually is gonna be played in the background, but it's not gonna be output in the final render. So you need to keep that in mind. This is it about the sound operator. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.